Now we're waiting for our momos to arrive. But wait! We will get back to Momo part later. Let's talk about Nepal first. Squeezed between India and Tibet, it stretches from rich subtropical forest to the Himalayan peaks. Nepal may be defined by the Himalayas and precisely Everest, but it is much more than just mountains. From your arrival to Kathmandu airport, be prepared. Nepal will take you back in time to when life was simple, people are nice and warm and hmm, not smooth roads. And we headed to the first attraction of the city, Swayambhunath Temple. It is one of the most important religious shrines in the city and also known as the Monkey's Temple, overlooking the greater portion of the Kathmandu Valley. My guide Sarjan was telling me about the wisdom eyes and the stupa. They're looking in every direction. You'll be able to see the third eye too. This spot overlooks most parts of the valley, giving you a panoramic view of the city. The glory of Kathmandu Valley is said to have started from this point. Buddha is one of the most imposing landmarks in Kathmandu. It is the largest stupa in Kathmandu Valley and is the center of the Himalayan Buddhism, surrounded by the colorful prayer flags that has stood up as a symbol of peace, beauty and giant eyes. This is the center of Kathmandu as well, and in Kathmandu, basically, we have a Newari people. Newari people are the real original people of Kathmandu Valley, and they are, they have, even they are from different religion, Buddhist, Hindus, whatever. They have their own lifestyle, they have their own culture, they have their own quality of life. They are really carving, they are really carving the stone, carving the wood like that. They have so many different. In the heart of the old Kathmandu city, it never fails to impress first-time visitor with its wood carving and rich history. From the red brick houses and tiled roofs, as well as temple squares. There are three squares belong to Newari kingdoms, Kathmandu, Patan, and Bhaktapur Durbar Square. Visiting any of the sites will be an experience in itself. The age-old tradition Newari buildings blending with the new. It's a site you wouldn't want to miss. And 
We met the God that protects his devotees from dreadful enemies, greed, lust, and anger. Also in Kathmandu Valley, we visited the living goddess in Nepal, Kumari. Basically, they chose a girl at very early age based on 32 body perfections. Then they decide if she's the future Kumari. We were asked not to record or take photos of anything inside the house and we did respect that. So the Kumari came up to the window to greet the visitors quickly and then she left. It's not easy being a Kumari. Bashupatinath Temple Situated on the banks of the Hori River, Bagmati, is the most revered Hindu temple in Nepal. The main temple complex is open only for the Hindus. Non-Hindus must satisfy themselves observing from the terraces across the river. What you'll be seeing here also, bodies being cremated and monks doing death anniversaries. We got the chance to meet face to face with sadhus, face to face experience with culture. They're friendly and happy to take photos with you, but tip is not a tip and you have to make them smile with at least 100 rupees. And now momos have arrived. These steamed meat or vegetable dumplings reasonably stuffed ravioli. They are an addictive snack. They are served with chili sauce and you can find them anywhere in the streets and fancy restaurants. So I went first with the chicken momos. It looks very rich stuffing. You dip it in the chili sauce. And then you can feel all the spiciness, chicken, onion and garlic and the buffalo one it has a different shape the same chili sauce and it's also delicious although it looks like snack but it's a full meal for me at least <laughs> 